What is up today, YouTube? So, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a tutorial in first person today, because I think it's the best way to do it. I got recently asked in my last video if I could show how to pop an ollie higher to get on higher obstacles. So, that's where we'll be going over today. We're just going to be going how to get the ollie higher to get onto higher obstacles. And I do have some tips for that. So, tip number one, if possible, have a fresh board or fresh grip tape. This one is pretty worn down. I'm waiting for my uh, package from Handscape. But that just, you know, makes it easier. You still can do it without it. So, not a big deal. But that's tip one. Tip two is using what I would call a tiered system. So if you notice in front of me right now, I have three of my obstacles. The first one stands at a total of three inches tall. Not that big. So that's our starting point. Then we move up to five inches tall. Still not that big. That's our medium point. And the last one, I don't know if you guys can see it because I don't know what you're seeing, is 14 inches tall. So we're going almost three times the size of the middle one. And we're going to show the steps on how to get your ollie better and then how to max it out. So that's what we're doing today. So join me. First, this is the bottom of a roller cabinet. My neighbor was throwing away and I just jacked it for the wood. And if you notice the huge tall one, that's also the same wood from the same cabinet. So this is just the bottom of it. But if you guys have a textbook, it works the same, not a big deal. So tip number one for the Ollie, definitely make sure you're standing, guys. Standing is very important. You can obviously get up something small while sitting down, but if you want to max out your Ollie, you want to stand up. It makes it a thousand times easier. Also, if you're using two fingers, you're not going to get a lot of force. You want to change from using two fingers, and you also, if you're using double slap, you want to change that method also, and try to get your whole hands into it. I like sometimes to use three fingers, but I usually do use my whole hand, and that gives you a great downward force. And the more force you can create, the higher you can pop. So pick something small. I'm assuming you guys already know how to ollie. If not, go over to the Handscape channel. They have a video on it. Go check it out. It's really good. And once you learn how to ollie, come back here. So you pick your obstacle, and you learn how to ollie up it. Big thing learn how to ollie while rolling. So unlike on a regular skateboard, it's really easy to transfer a stationary ollie to a rolling ollie. Nothing much changes. So once you start practicing on your smaller obstacle and you can ollie up it with pretty much ease, that's when the tiered part comes in. So if this is a textbook for you guys or a ledge and you built a mani pad or whatever, and you can ollie up it every single try, that's when you want to change out your obstacles. So well, let's change it out. Once again, like I said, you don't need fancy obstacles. You don't need a part of a picnic table. You can just stack textbooks, not a big deal. But now you're onto a higher obstacle and no longer are you popping way too high. Now it's kind of where the range you're at. You're able to get up it, but it's not that easy. So break down your ollie. Make sure everything's going right. If you're ollieing forward like this, that's not gonna help you at all. So the three biggest things I would say ollieing high on a handboard is pushing like a front shove. So moving your back hand back towards the front pocket a little bit more. So when you slide, you pop it more towards you and it makes it easier to bone it. And that, that's, you know, kind of important. Instead of flicking towards you, because I'm sure a lot of people do that and you end up doing more of a shove, push away from you. And it allows for a good solid ollie. Also, sliding, very important. Making sure your hand travels up the board. You don't need to try to do it like a real ollie with the back of your hand. Just slide your hand up because leveling it out is important. If you haven't figured out how to level it out yet, very simple step. Put your hand on the nose, hand on the tail. Well, put your hand above the nose and hand on the tail and pop down. And you'll notice it levels itself out. So one of the good practice steps is if you are getting out of the double slap method and you're finally getting into keeping both hands on the board, what you do is relieve all pressure off this hand so you're not going to pop while rolling. Raise this hand up, then pop the, uh, tail of the, pop the tail of the board. So roll, stop, raise hand, pop, back down. 
and do that until you can do it fast. And it looks like you're just doing a regular ollie. So it looks identical to keeping both hands on the board at the same time, as long as you do it fast enough. So that's a little cheat. That's probably how I learned most of my tricks in the beginning. Even how to kick flip, raise hand up, and then flip down. So, you know, that's a good, good practice step. Now, the other thing I'm going to tell you guys right now, learn how to nose manual. I know most videos would never tell you learn how to nose manual if you're learning how to ollie higher. But trust me, I'm going to pull out the big obstacle and I'm going to show you why you want to learn how to nose manual. All right, so this is my tallest obstacle by quite a bit. It's a little ridiculous. That's kind of why I made it. I usually trick off it instead of trick up it. But I like setting up a ramp on the side over here or something and tricking up it. I have grinded the sides of it too. So why do you want to learn how to nose manual? Well, we all know when you're ollieing, if you bone your ollie, you pop, bring it up, and then bone it down to land. So what does that mean? Well, when you're popping up something, you want to bone it so you gain that little bit extra height. But this is the tallest obstacle you've ever ollied on, so that's kind of hard for you to do. So what I want you guys to do is, now remember, rolling is important because the more velocity you have, the more force you have, the higher your ollie can be. So the more pop and the more speed, the higher you get. So aim the center of the board for the edge of the obstacle that you're gonna be popping onto. And just ram the side. Woo. And that's it. If you can get up here, you can ollie up the rest of the way. You just need to know how. So practice that for a while until that feels comfortable to you guys. Another important thing is you want to make sure you guys may have caught it. I clipped my elbow on this. It is sometimes harder with the taller obstacles not to hit it with your hands. So just like in skating, you want to focus more on the obstacle yourself than on the actual handboard. So set your hands where you need them. Look over at the obstacle, then pop up and do it. Just so you don't hit. I mean, if you're really comfortable knowing where everything is, you've used the obstacles a bunch, you can avoid having to look at it, but I recommend it. So now you're saying, well, Cody, you mentioned learn how to nose manual. How does that help me? This is where it helps you guys. So I told you to practice this. You have that down good. Well, only the butt of your board, only the back truck needs to get up. Well, if you nose manual, you've now made it up. So practice that. Land, yeah, land in the deck check, and then pick yourself up. Practice it slowly. Practice it as much as you guys feel like you need to. And now do it really fast. Woo. Well, you really can't tell I didn't ollie up it. All you're doing is getting your pop and speed down perfectly. Once you can do that really quickly, really fast, then that's of course when you want to try to really get up there. So hit the deck. Woo. Hit the deck and pick yourself up. And the cool part about learning how to ollie up something high is you then get to trick off it. So I'd like to say I have a pretty good pop. There's a lot of tricks I actually can pop as high as Dextra. His nolly flip, I will never ever pop a nolly flip this high. Just how it goes, guys. But like I said, ollieing, deck check, nose manual, up. And that is how you max out your ollie. Because if you just keep clipping and you cannot get it up, you gotta practice that boning. So, after a while, you add just a little bit more force, pop up, then bone it. And you'll land fully on without ever even coming close to clipping your wheels. So let's do a few more for you guys and outro the video. Tidbit of information, not really relevant to the ollies, more other tricks. Just like in skateboarding, guys, your ollie is very important. If you want to trick up this, you want to learn how to ollie first. 
So we're going to give it a few tries and see if I can heel flip, kick flip, and backside flip up it. 